in part one, I introduced Doom and shared some of its lore. Before I begin, I left out one important detail. Doom got a re-release as the ultimate Doom on April 30th, 1995 with the fourth episode, Thy Flesh Consumed. So now it's time to answer the question, is this game still worth playing? The answer is yes, Doom is still worth playing to this day. The game is fast paced and offers plenty of challenge. There isn't a steep learning curve, but keep one thing in mind. While modern shooters use mouse and keyboard, older shooters like this use arrows, control, alt, and space for using stuff. What I'm getting at is you use the arrow keys to move, control to shoot, alt to strafe, and space to use. With all that said, how does the rest of the game stack up? The game has aged well and there is still wand makers out there to this day. The graphics and level design still hold up to this day. Despite being almost 30 years old, this game gets better with age. The game really shines in the audio department, be it the stage song or the ambience of enemies. Doom's sound is easy on the ears. When you play episode 1 and you hear this... Nostalgia. Perhaps the biggest feature that everyone wanted is the auto map. Without auto map, this would have been another Wolfenstein clone, but better. Another thing that made Doom great is the enemies. From your basic zombie to the spider mastermind, all enemies are memorable and make appearances in later Doom games. The weapons, while not original, are also memorable, especially the BFG 9000. Of course, we all know what BFG stands for. If there's one thing that made Doom and all other 90s shooters famous are secrets and there are a ton of them throughout. Even to this day, I still don't know where all the secrets are. The difficulties are well suited for each player's skill level. But fair warning, Nightmare does live up to its name. For what it's worth, Doom will remain as one of history's greatest games. Doom gets 5 BFGs out of 5.